Wow. Just wow. Action. Hello everyone and welcome back to Berta's Kitchen. We're at the second episode of the top 10 chefs today with Isabella Potis recipe. She's very famous for her delicious souffles. Why not make one? With this video, I'll show you the tricks behind such a wonderful dessert. Make sure to watch it till the end so that you won't miss any. Let's take care about the molds. Bring some butter to room temperature. It needs to be soft, but not liquid, and with the help of a brush, spread it vertically. This is the first trick to really take care about. We want to promote the rising of the mixture while in the oven. Second thing to do is to sprinkle a lot of sugar inside the molds and with some gentle pets, remove the excess. This way, it will be really easier to use the exact amount of sugar and have it perfectly spread on all the surface. Put the molds in the fridge so that the butter can solidify again. 10 minutes are enough. Now let's talk about the souffle. We have to make it rise and avoid it to collapse. But how to do so? What we did with the butter was a first step towards this goal. But now, let's make a perfect base. Grab three eggs and separate the whites from the yolks. Use your preferred technique here, but I like to do it this way. Break them in half and with the help of the shells, make the whites drop in the bowl with each pass. Bring to a boil 250 ml of milk with a vanilla bean in it. You may have used the pulp for any other preparation. We just need the empty bean here to give it a nice premium flavor to the preparation. On a side, we mix three egg yolks with the powdered sugar, making sure that the mixture becomes creamy and without any clots. You should get something like this, with this light yellow color. Now also add the cornstarch to it. If you have a strainer, use it. It really helps you prevent it from making any clots. Mix it thoroughly until everything is incorporated. Pour half the milk here, paying attention to the temperature. We don't want to cook the eggs and make an omelette. I love omelettes, but not in this case. Mix everything until smooth and pour in the remaining milk in the pot. We want to achieve a smooth consistency and 60 degrees here are what we need in order to get there. Let's smell the chocolate. Water bath is always the right choice. It will help you maintain the right temperature without anything sticking to the casserole. Add it to the mixture and our base is ready. Now it's time to whip the egg whites. We really want to achieve a nice stable consistency and in order to do so, the trick here is to add the sugar one third at a time. For each 50 grams of egg whites, we will need 15 grams of sugar. Turn on the mixer on low speed and start whipping. First slowly, and just when the eggs are starting to get some consistency, throw in the first third of sugar. Let it incorporate and increase the speed of your mixer. Put the second third of sugar almost near the desired consistency, and just at the end, the final dose. We want to achieve a soft peak stage, so don't overdo the whipping. That's because the souffle rising in the oven isn't just brought from the air bubbles of the egg whites but also from the vapor created by the milk and the yolks in the mixture. The stiff pick here wouldn't promote this outcome for the cooking process. We got everything we need now. Perfect doses for these souffles are 50 grams of base mixture plus 50 grams of whipped egg whites. Grab your butter molds and spread them on a baking dish. Pour half of the mixture inside them and one by one, gently beat them to remove any excess here. Pour in the other half and with the help of a spatula make the surface super flat. Now a little trick to promote the raise of your souffles. With a finger, remove a little bit of mixture from the sides. Put everything in an oven set on static and preheated at 200 degrees. 8 minutes would be enough to have our souffles perfectly cooked and raised. Never open the oven in the cooking process or they will collapse immediately. And that's it, Isabella Posi's souffle Italian style. Now, let's taste this delicacy. Mm. It's wonderful. Mm. Amazing. Wow. Just wow. This souffle tastes like perfection. It can be paired with every menu you got in mind. And come on, who doesn't like chocolate? I think we really nailed it here. This dish is very technical, but with the little tricks I gave you, you really cannot fail. I'm sure your souffles will never collapse again. If you loved it, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Berto's Kitchen is here for you every Thursday with new exciting recipes. See you next week.